Today we are going to learn about the distinct keyword in MySQL. So the select distinct statement is used to return only distinct values. And the reason for that is a lot of times your data is going to have values that repeat, right? So for example, in this case, you see that country has United States, United States, United States, United States, India, 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 and so on. So the countries are repeating. And if we were to simply do a count of countries, it would show that there are 16 countries in this table. But we know that there are, we don't have 16 countries. We only have one, two and three countries. And that is why you use the distinct command because it will give you the distinct values or the unique values in your data set. So the, the structure is fairly simple. And the way to do that is you can go here and say, I want select distinct. Okay. And the column name, which is, which is country from customer. So what this is doing is it's asking for distinct values in customer. Okay. Now let's run this command and see what we get. And as you can see, we can only get three countries. Now, if I were to remove the distinct keyword, we will get all the 16 rows and that's not the correct representation of the data. So again, when I run this, I get 16 rows of data. And this is important because your database, your table is going to have millions of rows, right? And someone might ask you, how many products do you have? Or uh, can you give me a list of all the products? And if you simply ran select product from the table name, you would get thousands of thousands of rows and that's the incorrect or inaccurate representation of your data. So the way you would do that is you would always type in the distinct command so that you get the distinct or the unique country names, you get unique product names and so on. So let's run this and there you go. You get three countries, United States, India and Canada. Another way of using distinct is in the count function, right? So if I were to write select count country from customer and execute this, I would get 16, right? And the reason is SQL is not counting distinct countries. It is counting countries in that particular column. And we know that there are 16 rows, right? Which is why it's returning 16. And again, that's the in inaccurate representation of the data because we know that there are only three countries in this data set. So very easily you can solve this by simply typing in distinct keyword here. Now, when this happens, what you're doing is you're counting distinct countries from customer, right? From the customer table. So when I run this, I'm going to get three countries. And there you go. <clears throat> so remember distinct is used to get unique values in your data set because very often your data set is going to have repeated values. It could be product names. It could be products. It could be countries in this case. It could be cities because we know there are multiple people who live in India, multiple people who live in a, a city and therefore you could have duplicate values. So whenever you want to find out the number of countries, number of cities, number of products, or you want to count the unique uh, count of a particular column, always use the distinct function. And this will be used a lot throughout your SQL career.